The Department of Justice, DOJ, is currently embroiled in a legal battle over the release of audio from an interview between tween President Joe Biden and former special counsel Robert Herr. The DOJ has expressed significant concerns about the potential for the audio to be maliciously altered, particularly through the use of advanced artificial intelligence, AI, technologies. This fear was formally raised in a recent court filing, highlighting the risk that the audio could be manipulated to create deepfakes, which are highly realistic but falsified recordings. The DOJ's concern is that, given the advancements in AI and audio manipulation technologies, the release of the audio could lead to it being improperly altered. They argue that malicious actors could use these technologies to insert or delete words, thereby creating a distorted version of the conversation that could be passed off as genuine. Such a scenario is particularly concerning, given the potential for deepfakes to deceive the public and influence political discourse. Special counsel Robert Herr, who testified before the House Judiciary Committee, is at the center of this issue. The DOJ's court filing is the latest move in a complex legal struggle aimed at keeping the audio under wraps. President Biden recently claimed executive privilege over the audio, adding another layer to the controversy. Bradley Weinsheimer, an associate deputy attorney general at the DOJ, emphasized in his affidavit that releasing the audio would significantly increase the risk of it being altered. He pointed out that while it is already possible to create deepfakes of Biden's voice, having the original audio would make it much easier for malicious actors to produce a convincing fake. He argued that if the audio remains undisclosed, the DOJ and other entities would be better positioned to discredit any deepfakes that might emerge. The DOJ's stance comes amid rising concerns about the use of deepfakes in the political arena. The potential for these falsified recordings to spread misinformation and damage reputations is a growing issue as technology advances. The DOJ reiterated in their filing that releasing the audio could hinder future cooperation in investigations and argued that the audio falls under executive privilege. They also noted that the transcript of the interview, which has already been released, provides the necessary information. Despite these arguments, there is significant pressure from conservative groups, media organizations, and House Republicans to release the audio. They believe that hearing the actual audio could provide additional context, such as the president's tone or pauses, which might not be captured in the transcript. Some Republicans, including Majority Whip Tom Emmer, have speculated that the transcript may have been edited and does not fully match the audio. Weinsheimer directly countered these claims, stating that the transcript accurately reflects the audio recording except for minor differences, such as filler words or repeated phrases. He affirmed that both Hur and FBI personnel present at the interview believe the transcript to be accurate, aside from these minor discrepancies. The controversy over the biden hur audio underscores broader concerns about the integrity of information in the digital age. The possibility of deepfakes poses a significant challenge to maintaining public trust, particularly in the political sphere. As the legal battle continues, the debate over transparency versus security remains a critical issue, reflecting the complexities of handling sensitive information in an era of rapid technological advancement.